Welcome back to the Reflactor channel. The 12 inch Dobsonian and I are about to go on an adventure about an hour west of town. We're heading to a dark sky site where the light pollution level is really low. It's a Bortle scale of about three or four. I can't wait to see what happens when you combine a 12 inch Dobsonian with a really dark night sky. We wish us luck. Well, we just got here and it's raining, uh, so there won't be any stargazing tonight. Uh, we'll give it another try tomorrow night, but it should be a fun day of camping. It's just barely misting now, but if you look to the east, you can see the, the light dome. It's illuminating the clouds coming from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Talk about light pollution. It's the next day and the clouds are finally burning off. This is where we plan to set up the telescope. We should have excellent views from horizon to horizon. Here is the setup. We've got the eyepiece table, we've got the telescope, and we've got clear skies. There we go. It's a little too shabby. When I get back to town, I'll take this video and run it through a suite of free post-processing tools that I learned about while watching Drew Henry's video called Processing Jupiter in 20 Minutes Start to Finish. I'll put a link to it in the description box below. Well, here's the end result of that stacking process, and I gotta admit, I think it turned out okay. Now, I have followed the exact same procedure for Saturn, and I think the end result on this one turned out to be pretty good, too. Visually, Andromeda was pretty awesome compared to what I see in the city. I could actually make out the elliptical shape. Uh, despite this being a multi-second exposure on my camera at the Max 800 ISO, only the core showed up here. The fact that I don't have tracking on this telescope didn't really help things. But you can sort of see the ellipse here, I think. Uh, my color correction skills are pretty amateur, but I was pretty happy with this. Another night of observing is complete. By the way, if you hate setting up tents and you're not claustrophobic, I've learned that using a tent cot is the way to go on these short trips. We started using these a few years ago and they work great. <laughs> well, the sun is rising, the dew is burning off, and it's time to go home. It was a great night of observing with a large Dobsonian. I got to see a lot of things in way more detail than I've ever seen. It was a very good learning experience. If you enjoyed this video, please push the like button. 